House of Cards is brought to you by Drizzly, your online liquor store. Available in over 95 cities across North America, Drizzly offers a huge selection and competitive pricing with a side of personalized content. Now there's no need to leave the house. Get alcohol delivered in less than an hour by Drizzly. Head on over to drizzly.com and order today. And now get $5 off your first order of $20 or more when using promo code DRINK19 at checkout. Shop beer, wine, and liquor with drizzly.com. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to House of Cards. Today, the game is different. I want to gamble. Gambling is a very serious business. Is that clear? Welcome to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you here, deep from the swamps of Jersey. we got a great show coming up for you. You know, when you're trying to think of an exciting gambling activity, playing the lottery doesn't usually come to mind. But our guest coming up may have just changed that. A company out of Kentucky called Equilottery Games has created a lottery game that's based on live horse racing. The game is called Win Play Show, and it has received a lot of attention from all around the country. Coming up, I'm going to be talking with Brad Cummings, who is the founder and CEO of Equilottery Games, about this incredible game. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but we're going to talk lottery when we come back. So stick around. We'll be right back with House of Cards. Money always matters. If you owe thousands in back taxes to the IRS, how much can Tax Solutions Now save you? I pay less than I owe. That's right. Money matters. So call Tax Solutions Now and get the IRS off your back. Since 2014, Tax Solutions Now has been a leader in the tax resolution industry. That's why we say money matters. Remove wage garnishments, property liens, fines, and penalties. Qualify for the Fresh Start program or even uncollectible status. Money matters. How much can Tax Solutions Now save you? I owed the IRS over $10,000. I paid a fraction of what I owed. Call now to reduce or even eliminate your back taxes. We were being audited. We couldn't sleep. We call Tax Solutions Now. I called Tax Solutions Now and got the IRS off my back. Thanks. You saved us a ton of money. Money matters. How much can Tax Solutions Now save you? Call now and find out. Call 800-297-9788. Psst. Yeah, you. Come here. Haven't you heard? We don't need to hide anymore. Now, we can shop privately for adult products at adamandeve.com. They've got massage oils, lingerie, and lots more we can't mention here. Use offer code SPICE404. They'll give you 50% off almost any one item, three free DVDs, free mystery gift, and free shipping. That's 50% off, free shipping, and more. Private shopping starts at adamandeve.com. You're listening to House of Cards. Check out our website at houseofcardsradio.com. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. If you're like me and you're running out to your corner store for your morning coffee, you usually throw a little money down for some lottery tickets for that night. That's pretty much as exciting as the lottery gets for me. But now that's about to change. A company called Equilottery Games has created a lottery game that incorporates live horse racing. The game is called Win Play Show, and we're going to hear all about this incredible concept from the founder and CEO of Equilottery Games, Brad Cummings. Brad, thanks for coming on. 
Thanks so much for having me, Dave. Appreciate it. I got to tell you, win place show sounds like an incredible game, and I love the concept behind it. But before we start talking about the game, can you tell me a little bit about Equilottery Games? Yeah, so Equilottery Games came out of uh, really my first startup. Uh, those people who are in the horse racing industry have probably heard of a news website called The Pollock Report. I, I co-founded that with a gentleman named Ray Pollock, who is you know one of the all-time big names in the turf riding industry. Uh, you know, he's he's the kind of guy who's forgotten more about horse racing than any of us know. And uh, anyways, I was lucky enough to, to meet him while he was looking to start a, a, a new uh, frontier for himself. And we started that site. Uh, the, the funny thing is, is when I met Ray, I'd been the racetrack twice in my life. <laughs> I knew virtually nothing about horse racing. I was among those people who thought that the 20 horses that uh, showed up the Kentucky Derby gate uh, just kind of showed up because I had no idea how, <laughs> how all that worked, right? So uh, I, about a year and a half into it, I got my sea legs under me, all things racing, at least to be able to be conversational about it. Uh, you know, we, at that point, we had built a business that we felt was going to be sustainable. And I went to my first Breeders' Cup. And on my way back, this was 2009, on my way back, I, I, I said, where's the sport been my entire life? It was a phenomenal event. If anyone's ever been to a Breeders' Cup and sat there and watched the two days of racing, it's just heavyweight after heavyweight after heavyweight. And you're getting, you know, 12 to 1 odds on a horse that would be the morning line favorite in most races. And, and so it's just a great betting experience and a great sport experience and all, a great pageantry. And I thought, God, how, how did this sport miss me? I, I, you know, I grew up in Chicago or the Chicago area. I loved live sports, loved going to casinos, playing poker. Uh, I didn't even know there was a racetrack near me. And there's obviously two, you know, top end tracks in the area. And so I, I thought, how do I, you know, I was, I was thinking about, I, I didn't want to be published for the rest of my life, but how would I get to a place where I, I could help uh, improve the distribution of that product? How do you reach a 21 year old Brad who, who should have been a horse player? And I looked at all the distribution channels out there. And the one that just really resonated with me was the lottery uh, industry. There's, you know, hundreds of thousands of terminals around the country. There's uh, one in every gas station I've ever been in, or every liquor store and, you know, grocery store and so on. And so I thought if I could create a game that would replace lottery balls with the ex excitement of live horse racing, you know, we'd really have something that could help both industries. Like I said, that was, you know, nearly 11 years ago that I started that process. Uh, built it slowly behind the scenes for a while. I was still building the Pollock report for a good portion of it. And then uh, uh, when the patent came through on the game design uh, in 2014, I was able to draw enough investment to be able to start to go full time with it. And, and that sort of started the real journey, the more public journey of it all. And, uh, you know, five, six years later, we got our, we got our first ever lottery game launch in, a, in an industry that's very difficult to break into like that. In fact, it's, uh, essentially unprecedented. So, uh, yeah, we're really, really proud of where we are, really pleased with where we are. Obviously, a lot more to go. You know, the Win Play Show product's a great product. We've also got, you know, products that, uh, you know, span the other sports as well. And we can talk about that, um, you know, later. But the, the idea is that we're really building this games of chance based on live sports category that hasn't existed before. You're based in Kentucky, and, and I'm not too familiar with the gaming scene in Kentucky. You know, you, I think of the Kentucky Derby, and and that's what I think of as the gaming scene. Is Kentucky based around horse racing and the lottery, or, or do you have casinos and things like that that have a horse racing theme, or is everything connected there? Yeah, we – I mean, obviously, when you think Kentucky, you think a few things, and one of them might be bourbon. Yeah. Uh, another one, of course, is – another one, of course, is horses. And it's obviously a big identity in the, uh, for the state, and the Derby is very important, and the beauty of Keeneland and, and some of these other racetracks, the horse sales. So it's, it's definitely part of the, the, uh, the culture here. But I wouldn't say there is a uh, burgeoning gaming industry here. There's no casinos. There's no sports books at, at the current time. Uh, we do have some of the historical horse racing machines in the state, but uh, you know, I think we're really evidence of the fact that the world has shrunk so much that you can, you know, a, a guy from the center of the country without any real, you know, 
VC connections or, or uh, you know, larger gaming connections or anything along those lines can actually put himself in a position to build a, a, a company that can do some groundbreaking things. And, you know, that's where we're heading. So, uh, you know, I think of there are many different storylines within the building of this company that I love. One of them being that, uh, you know, hopefully uh, as we continue to ascend, there'll be the next Brad uh, in the middle of the country who says, you know, I can try, I can take a swing at something. And as long as I stay dedicated to it and I get up every morning and I do what I say I was going to do, you know, I might have a, a real shot at doing something that's going to really change, change my world. And so, uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's a really cool part of all this. Okay. Hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe ten thousand dollars or more upon payment of your new lower balance your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free my family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20 percent interest there's no fees until you see results so call now make one monthly program payment and free up your cash resolve your debt call 800-515-1558 800-515-1558 You're listening to House of Cards. Where was the house? Where was the house of cards? Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishuttle with you here. House of Cards is brought to you by PartyPoker.com. Why go to Atlantic City or Pennsylvania? Pay for gas, pay for parking, fight the crowds. You can play the same games online anywhere in the Garden State. If you're 21 and in New Jersey, go to nj.partypoker.com and sign up using promo code EXIT7A. You'll even get a first deposit match up to $1,000. Start playing and start winning some cash. Use EXIT7A for great online poker action plus some bonus money with PartyPoker at nj.partypoker.com. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with Brad Cummings, founder and CEO of Equilottery Lottery Games. Hearing about the game Win Play Show, it, it had me immediately intrigued. How did you come up with the idea of incorporating live horse racing with the lottery? Were you sitting at the track one time and thinking, you know, oh, my God, I had this amazing idea I just had. I wonder if anyone else did it. How did it come to you? Well, you know, like any entrepreneur who puts together an idea that has some some legs. Um, I guess this one has four. <laughs> Sorry, pardon the, pardon the bad joke. But the uh, any, any idea that has has legs, you start off with solving a problem, right? So uh, I knew I didn't want to stay in publishing the rest of my life. So I looked at the industry and I said, what were the problems facing the industry? And I really came down to two issues, one being revenue and the other being distribution of the product. I saw a lot of people looking towards revenue and finding solutions that might make up revenue gaps, whether that's slots or casinos at a racetrack, historical horse racing machines, ways to better engage the existing player base. But what I didn't see out there was any way to cultivate a fan base, potentially a younger fan base that can then become part of the larger uh, 
this circle of options within the horse racing industry. You know, I mean, I mean, there isn't a person that I've ever taken to the racetrack, you know, if it was their first time where they didn't walk away going, wow, that was incredible. That was a fun day. I got, you know, I spent five, six hours, got to have a few drinks and, you know, lay some money on some horses. And, you know, I always encourage people to, to show that at first and to get that winning experience. You know, you, you when people are, are, are uh, exposed to horse racing, they love it. It's just a matter of getting it out there beyond some particular days, the Triple Crown and maybe the Breeders' Cup, so people can understand. There's, I mean, there's racing every day of the year except for Christmas Day in this country, and there's multiple racetracks running every day. There's a lot out there, and so I, I said I, I need to figure out a way to get to the everyday person with the horse racing product. And that's how the, the win play show game came about. Cause I, at some point I saw a lottery terminal and I, I knew about as much about lottery as I did about horse racing when I started the policy report, but I knew enough to know there was one at every gas station I've ever been in. And I said, there's, there's your distribution point. That's where people are all the time. Uh, and so, um, you know, whether it's that environment or bar environment or, just your, you know, you know, your regular retail shop, uh, the, the ability for people to be able to engage in the horse racing industry and the excitement of horse racing with a very convenient $2 quick pick. You know, that's, that's pretty exciting. And that's, you know, that's really where, um, you know, that, that's really why the product exists is to give people that opportunity. And then of course we have a mobile app that they can download from the ticket. And that allows them to watch the race live or on replay and give that extra level of engagement to the lottery ticket experience. Well, you touched upon my uh, next question. I mean, how would you play win, play, show? What what are the rules? So, you you know, of course, we're talking about it in a general sense. Um, but the the, uh, the the ticket's a $2 ticket. You, you buy uh, a ticket for that race or you know, multiple tickets. Uh, each ticket has three horses on it from that day's race. So we pick a race around, you know, five o'clock every day. Uh, the the uh, order of finish uh, is it, determined by uh, you know, like your your prize value is determined by the order of finish of that live race coming up later that day. So you're buying the ticket, you get three horses, quick fix for you. If you match all three in a row, you win the top prize. Match all three in the order, you win a secondary prize. And then if you match uh, all, so you're matching two, you get a you get a third prize. So there's you know three ways to win the game. But the you know the real point to me is that these are entertainment products. Mm-hmm. You know we're, we never sell. You're going to have a life changing amount of money. You might get a weekend changing amount of money, but you're not going to have a life changing amount of money on these games. But their their real purpose is to turn the lottery experience into a real entertainment experience. So just just to be clear, a person buying the ticket isn't picking the horses. They go and it's picked by randomly by the machine, right? Yeah, we have a random number generator certified by GLI. Uh, the system that we've developed is in partnership with Amto International. Uh, and, and so we actually take, we actually hook into the tote uh, at the racetrack. So we get live scratches and, you know, those, you know, steward's key, pool closings and all that. So, so there's an automation to it all that it sinks us into the racetrack experience. It's it's an easy way for somebody to get involved in it. We do all the hard stuff. We do all that. We'll call it the fun stuff. And they, uh, you know, they jump in and get to buy a two dollar ticket and don't have to do anything except for buy it and watch the race. And so it's a super easy way to get involved in something that can, you know, if you've ever looked at the daily racing form, you know, I mean, I've been in the industry for eleven years now. There's still lines on that racing form I don't <laughs> entirely understand. You know, so I. I I can only imagine what it's like for a newbie. Actually, I know what it's like for a newbie because sure. I was a newbie at 30. And, uh, and it's, it can be very intimidating. So this removes all those barriers to entry. Tell me about the technology behind WinPlace Show. I mean, I, I was looking at it, and I'm, I was just assuming that it was much different than your usual daily lottery ticket. W- w- what goes into creating a ticket sure. and up-to-date data? And, and this, this follows... Uh, for all of our games. So I would really talk about it more of a, a universal sense. And that is we supply a secondary system, a draw game system to the lottery industry or to the state lottery. And that system does all the game logic. It does the random number generator. 
and it has all the sports data. On the win play show game, that data comes from Equibase. On our other games, that data comes from Sport Radar. Uh, that allows us to be the system of record. It allows us to control the scheduling. You know, we have a very specific process we go through, whether we're scheduling a horse race or we're scheduling 10 baseball games in the MLB season. Uh, that is a very, um, uh, you know, that's a very methodical process we go through. We want to, you know, on the horse racing side, we want to make sure that we're avoiding bad weather that causes scratches. We have, you know, five years of historical data that we go through so that we can say this track under these conditions is going to scratch the least. Certainly we can't avoid scratches, but but uh, we do the best we can to mitigate them. Uh, on, the, you know, baseball products and those other team sports products, you know, we uh, we pick the games that have the that are the closest in in uh, disparity as far as the ability of the teams, because we don't want players to get a ticket where they're getting quick pick the team that you know maybe has a one in five chance of winning. You know, we we want we want something much uh, much more uh, a much tighter margin between the teams if we can, so that everything feels as competitive as possible. So we go through a very specific process. Is the real point on on how we pick races, how we pick teams. Uh, in games, and that having our own separate system allows us to do that. And then we tie our mobile app into that secondary system as well. So we actually have a our own serial numbers that tie into the mobile app, so players can scan the tickets and see if they won. They can you know take that ticket to help them download the mobile app. We have you know some things like QR code that allow us to communicate directly with the player, and uh, you know that allows us to create an experience for the player that they wouldn't have uh, necessarily without a company that's supplying all the um, accoutrement to a game like this. Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. I love getting my kids ready and driving them to school. But a careless driver can change your life in an instant. And insurance companies want to settle on the cheap. Auto Accident Help Desk connects victims with powerful lawyers. They fight for you. I called Auto Accident Help Desk and got help for my pain and suffering. Don't let an insurance company take advantage of you. Our attorneys fight and beat big insurance every day. If you've been injured in an automobile accident in the last six months, you owe it to yourself to make this free call with no obligation. When I called, they asked me a few questions and matched me with a powerful lawyer who knew how to fight for me. Call now. We're available 24-7 to help you get the money you deserve for your pain and suffering. They got me way more than the insurance company offered. Auto Accident Help Desk helps accident victims like you every day. Call 800-613-4611. 800-613-4611. 800-613-4611. Hey, this is Dave Weishuttle from House of Cards with your House of Cards gaming report for the week of September 14th, 2020. A mini casino may be coming to a location in the area near State College, Pennsylvania. Ira Looper, a Penn State alumnus and one of the owners of Rivers Casino Pittsburgh, won the most recent auction for a mini casino license in the Keystone State. According to state law, mini casinos are scaled-down versions of resort-style casinos and can have up to 750 slot machines on premises. California is allowing some casinos to operate outdoors. One property, Artichoke Joe's in San Jose, has erected a 13,000-square-foot tent which has 32 table games and an area for dining. According to the rules, cards and chips have to be cleaned and sanitized. Players have to remain socially distant from one another, and eating at the table is not allowed. And finally, some sad news. Poker legend Mike Sexton has passed away. Mike was the voice of the World Poker Tour for 15 seasons, leaving to become chairman of Party Poker in 2017. Mike was a member of the Poker Hall of Fame and also a World Series of Poker bracelet winner. He will forever be known as the greatest ambassador the sport of poker has ever had. Mike Sexton was 72 years old. Have any news or tips regarding casinos, gaming, or legislation? Send us an email at newsroom at houseofcardsradio.com and follow us on Twitter at HOC Radio. Texas. 
this place A little gambling is fun when you're with me, I love it Russian roulette is not the same without a gun And baby, when it's love, if it's not rough, it isn't fun But oh, well, well, oh, oh, well, oh, oh, oh I'll get him hot, show him what I got Oh, well, oh, 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 oh I'll get him hot, show him what I got Look, I really think it's time for us to do something. This is all getting way out of hand. What do you mean? The song is sweet. You're listening to House of Cards. I'll bet you 20 bucks I can get you gambling before the end of the day. No way. I'll give you three to one odds. No. Nope. Five to one. No. Nope. Ten to one. You're on. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. House of Cards is brought to you by Drizzly, your online liquor store. Available in over 95 cities across North America, Drizzly offers a huge selection and competitive pricing with a side of personalized content. Now there's no need to leave the house. Get alcohol delivered in less than an hour by Drizzly. Head on over to drizzly.com and order today. And now get $5 off your first order of $20 or more when using promo code DRINK19 at checkout. Shop beer, wine, and liquor with drizzly.com. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with Brad Cummings, founder and CEO of Equilottery Games. You know, I'm glad you mentioned the app. Um, what can people expect to see when they download your app? To, uh, walk us through the app a bit. Sure. You you can you download the app. You can go in as a guest mode or you can set up an account. We love you know, everybody to set up an account. What that allows them to do is scan the tickets and store them into the app. Uh, they'll get push notifications if they need their horse to scratch so they can take their tickets back for replacement tickets. You know, uh, we we have a um, uh, the ability to also ping them when they have a winner on one of their tickets, you know, so they can know to redeem their ticket at the at retail. So uh, that's, you know, that those features will continue to get more robust as we go. Um we, you know, then the player gets a countdown clock when they go to the watch race screen. That countdown clock, uh, you know, counts down to the race that day. And then, uh, you know, we do another push notification to say, hey, the race is about to start. Players come in. They can watch the race live. If they miss it for whatever reason, uh, within 15, 20 minutes after the race is run, they get a, uh, they get the chance to watch it on replay, you know, for, for the next 10 days, essentially how, it, how it's designed. Uh, players can also learn how to play the game from the mobile app, and uh, you know. And then after the race is done, if they have ch- if they've chosen not to scan their tickets and store them into a profile, they can scan their tickets to see how much they've won. You know, I'm always interested in how a game comes to market. I mean, you came up with Win Play Show. Then, what were your next steps? I mean, do you first have to approach the Horse Racing Authority before you go any further? Take us through the process of bringing a game to market. You know, it's, you know, fortunately I came from the horse racing industry and I already developed a lot of those relationships, but yeah, of course you, you would start there. You start with the sport that you're, at least that's what I did. Start with the sport that I'm featuring, started to develop relationships in the lottery industry. Once I was able to go full time in 2014, I was able to start going to lottery conferences. I remember being at my first conference and being the only guy no one had ever seen before. And that was in 2014 and, you know, gone from there to now where, you know, built a uh, network of, of contacts at every lottery in the country. Uh, and so a lot of that was just having to prove that what I said I was going to do, I was going to be able to do, you know, here's a guy who shows up out of nowhere, to, you know, the, the, and, and say, Hey, let's try something entirely new that's going to take some time for people to trust and it should, you know, these are billion dollar industries or, or state agencies mm-hmm. and they have a, you know, 
a real responsibility to the public money to make sure that they're handling it correctly, that they're not making foolish decisions. And so, you know, it took a few years just to really prove that, you know, we were going to do what we said we were going to do. You know, a couple of breaks here and there uh, happened our way. Uh, PASPA getting overturned certainly didn't hurt, uh, even though it didn't directly affect us from a legal perspective. And, um, you know, so, so that's, that was a big break. We had a pilot program for the Win Play Show launch last year that, uh, you know, led to the launch that just happened in Kentucky. Uh, that was, uh, you know, years of working to try to position our ourselves to have that kind of an opportunity and you know it's just it's just good old-fashioned get up in the morning and do what you say you're going to do be consistent you know you, you go through a lot of ups and downs uh i like a joke uh although not really a joke i looked a lot like don quixote for a long time chasing windmills <laughs> and uh you know eventually that paid off because you know i i do believe that if you have a vision and you're willing to be strident enough to pursue it every day and smart enough to listen to the market so that you can change it, enhance it, uh, improve the overall product offering. If you have that kind of patience, that sort of uh, staying power, you know, you can make just about anything happen uh, in this country. But, it, you know, there are no overnight successes when it comes to entrepreneurship. So it just took a long time of grinding it out. How has the response been for a win play show? You know, I, I can't talk about the specifics of the launch in Kentucky. Uh, the, that's just really their, that's, that's now their game. Mm -hmm. uh, I can say we're very pleased with the relationship that we have with the Kentucky lottery. Uh, they've been a great partner and, uh, and we look forward to, to uh, continuing to work with them. Now, horse racing isn't the only type of racing that Equilottery Games is working on. I understand you're doing something with live NASCAR racing. Can you tell me something about that? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got uh, a game design with NASCAR. We announced that I don't know, a few months ago, and <clears throat> it's a three-driver game. So it's actually a very similar format to the Win Play Show game. You get three drivers for a race, You know, the next upcoming uh, NASCAR Cup Series race. Starts with the Daytona 500, ends with the Cup Series Championship in, in November, and it's a weekly game. We don't have a market for it yet, but we, you, you should uh, stay tuned. There will be some news on that in the, you know, the next few months. Um, so <clears throat> we're we're pretty bullish on on that game format. We've done some initial research on on that game, and it's one of those things. Not every lottery player is a NASCAR fan, but virtually every NASCAR fan is a lottery player. So there's a great uh, crossover to uh, from from the sport to the uh, the lottery itself. Will, will the NASCAR game have the same principles as the uh, Win Play Show? Uh, is it based on the same technology? Yes, yes, yeah, same technology flow. Uh, everything outside of the horse racing game is actually on a technology stack that we've developed. It's all you know the the newest stuff. It's written in a really you know, high end uh, code base that allows us to be very competitive from a from a uh, an ability standpoint. Um, and uh, so the the game design itself uh, is similar to Win Play Show. There's actually some differences in the payouts. So, uh, but the flow itself is is very similar. <clears throat> you know, a lottery player knows no difference. It's just the flow behind the scenes that's different about our games. Again, it's has to do with an ability to schedule. And, and to control uh, the the game to the point where, you know, we're not putting an undue burden on a lottery vendor or the state lottery themselves to become experts in the sport and to understand how to, you know, position these games appropriately. Uh, but, the, you know, in that game, uh, we actually have uh, more, even more prize levels in that game. It's a $5 ticket, and you win from matching, you know, the top prize is matching all three in a row with an average prize of $50,000, but we even out of that research that we did, we learned that players were really cognizant of the fact the bottom twenty drivers really are, you know, they just don't have quite the same chance as the top twenty drivers. It's just there's an equipment gap, there's an ability gap, and so we didn't want players to feel like they if they got three of the bottom twenty drivers that they would have nothing to play for. So in fact, the bottom prize on that game is if you match the last place driver 
with any of your three drivers on your ticket, you get your money back. <laughs> so we've kind of built we kind of built That's the great. games to help represent the sport in the in the best light possible. I gotta tell you, these concepts are amazing. Do you have plans to work with any other sports for your lottery games? Oh yeah, yeah. We're working with Major League Baseball, working with NASCAR. I've got an, uh, another league, major sports league on the level of MLB that we've signed. We haven't made the public announcement yet, so I'm going to err on the side of caution and not uh, not announce that uh, right now. Uh, but it is a signed deal. And then we have another one of the big four sports leagues that's we're right at signature, uh, and then and then that a we'll call it a, a a global event that we're uh, you know we're getting tied into here soon. Uh, so we're going to have some really cool game options for players and for lotteries uh, to, to really push this category forward. Uh, we, you know, we see ourselves as pioneers in this game of chance sports, uh, or the game of chance sports lottery uh, category that we've built. And so, you know, all we wanted to do is just continue to push it forward. Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. House of Cards is brought to you by PartyPoker.com. Why go to Atlantic City or Pennsylvania? Pay for gas, pay for parking, fight the crowds. You can play the same games online anywhere in the Garden State. If you're 21 and in New Jersey, go to nj.partypoker.com and sign up using promo code EXIT7A. You'll even get a first deposit match up to $1,000. Start playing and start winning some cash. Use EXIT7A for great online poker action plus some bonus money with Party Poker at nj.partypoker.com. Unlock your best self with the Life Hack Pack from More Labs. The Life Hack Pack contains two bottles of morning recovery, two bottles of dream well, and two bottles of liquid focus. The Life Hack Pack is specially designed to help you live your life not just better, but smarter. Use promo code RADIO15 at morelabs.com to get 15% off your first purchase of the Life Hack Pack or any of their other great products. That's promo code RADIO15 to take advantage of this great promo of 15% off your first purchase at morelabs.com. The Life Hack Pack for More Labs. Drink smart with morning recovery, sleep easy with dream well, and get more done with liquid focus. You can finally do it all with help from More Labs. Stick around, we'll be right back with House of Cards. heard we don't need to hide anymore now we can shop privately for adult products at adamandeve.com they've got massage oils lingerie and lots more we can't mention here use offer code spice 404 they'll give you 50 percent off almost any one item three free dvds free mystery gift and free shipping that's 50 percent off free shipping and more private shopping starts at adamandeve.com we like to think that we live in a nice, safe neighborhood. The truth is that a burglary occurs every 13 seconds, and homes without a security system have a 300% greater chance of getting broken into. How many homes in your neighborhood were robbed yesterday? You need to start protecting your home and family today. Call now to get state-of-the-art protection. To keep your family and property safe, call the number on your screen now. Representatives are standing by to assist you. You're listening to the House of Cards. Whoa! I think we got a show. Oh, yeah, we got a show. We definitely got a show. Oh, yeah, there's a show. Hey, it's all about ratings, baby, and we got them. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you here. House of Cards is brought to you by Drizzly, your online liquor store. 
Available in over 95 cities across North America, Drizzly offers a huge selection and competitive pricing with a side of personalized content. Now there's no need to leave the house. Get alcohol delivered in less than an hour by Drizzly. Head on over to drizzly.com and order today. And now get $5 off your first order of $20 or more when using promo code DRINK19 at checkout. Shop beer, wine, and liquor with drizzly.com. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with Brad Cummings, founder and CEO of Equi Lottery Games. Now, when Play Show is already out, do you think your newer games will be coming out later on in the year or in two years? Do you have a time schedule or where? when do you foresee these games coming out? Uh, I'd, I'd uh, put a little pin on your calendar for April 1st next year. Okay. I can't go into the specifics right now, but uh, I was in, of course, of course, assuming that all the sports leagues actually run on a calendar that they are scheduled to run on, yeah, you know, yeah. so something that I, I never imagined as I was doing my initial uh, uh, pitches for, for funding and all that. I, I never actually threw out there that, you know, uh, we actually stop sports. So that's, that's yeah. a new thing, but I, I'm, you have to imagine that we're going to get back on track here. And uh, you know, certainly have to build that way. And so uh, we're anticipating an April 1st launch uh, in, in one of the states uh, in the U.S. for our baseball Bucks game. Well, where can people play Win Play Show? Is it just in Kentucky now? Currently. Currently it's just in Kentucky. But, you know, this is the beginning. It's the beginning to show that, you know, there's a, there's a market for something like this. It's the beginning to show that, you know, we can do what we said we're going to do. And so now, now that we have that, uh, have had that opportunity, you know, I think the sky's the limit for where we're going to go. Well, I, I think I asked you this off air. I mean, do you have plans for other states? Because I'm sitting here in New Jersey, and I would love to play these games. Well, you know, I, I've got a phone number you can call. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let, that, let me know if I can time, help. Time, uh, <laughs> what's that? Let me know if I can help. Hey, get the word out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No, we're, we're, uh, you know, we're in active discussions in 15 different states right now. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we are certainly building the future here. I would say, you know, uh, look for something between two or three launches from us next year in new states and probably that much or more the year after uh, as, as our calendar continues to, to evolve and fill up. So, so I think there's a lot of, a lot of interest in what we're building um, you know, we'll be, we'll have a big national research project that will be out, uh, probably beginning of October. That should really go a long way as showing the viability of this product line along with the, you know, ability to launch the state. Uh, you know, I think there's a, there's a lot of upside to what we're doing here. Is that the process for getting it into different states? You have to approach the individual lottery divisions for each state. Is that the process? Yeah, yeah. Each state controls the lottery within their boundaries. Uh, they obviously like, just like you're dealing with other businesses, they each have their own personalities. They each have people who are more open to innovation than not and, and that, that sort of thing. So so you just have to navigate that whole uh, world and figure out who the most viable initial clients are uh, and then build from there. But yeah, it's usually a state-by-state thing. They're usually a... Uh, a department within, uh, you know, a, a cabinet division. And so, you know, they, they go through pretty rigid uh, state processes. There's some regulatory things we have to work through. Uh, some states got to do background checks, you know, and so on and so forth. So there's, there's a lot of different uh, sort of nuances to, to how you handle this. Brad, we're running out of time, but can you give out your website so people can go and find out more about Equilottery Games and what you guys have coming up in the future? Absolutely. Uh, it's uh, uh, equilottery.com. That's E-Q-U-I-L-O-T-T-E-R-Y.com. And you can find out, find out about all of our game styles. You can read about our vision for the, the product category. Um, you know, and, and I think you can easily find the WinPlay Show app from there. So it's a, you know, it, it'll give you a little bit of an understanding of where we are as a business. Brad Cummings, founder and CEO of Equilottery Games. Thanks so much for coming on and telling us all about WinPlay Show and the other great things Equilottery Games is working on. Please come back and keep us updated on what you have planned for the future. Anytime, Dave. Thanks so much for your time. And that's all the time we have this week for House of Cards. See you next week. Just follow
Build a house of cards 